Hey everybody, it's Tara Castaneda, Diamond Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide, and I was recently asked a question that got me thinking. Um, somebody asked if I could give three just tips for success, something that really helped my business take off, what would they be? And, um, and I boiled it down to these three things. The first one was team culture. So um, it really dawned on me early on, um, because I did find myself stuck in my business for a while, that it was important to have a culture of um, a strong team culture. I wanted to find a culture that created a sense of community for my team, um, that built our loyalty together, that created unity among us, uh, among us, and I wanted everybody to realize that they were part of something much bigger than themselves. That when we came together, our team was um, was a part of a movement, a part of something very exciting. People want to feel like they are a part of something bigger than themselves. And when you can get that team culture um, uh, of, of unity, empowerment, uplifting, drama-free zone, when you can create a strong team culture that bonds everybody together, you're going to see your team do amazing things. The second thing that um, that I wanted to talk about or a tip for success is mindset. Um, I could easily talk for a very long time about this, but thank you to Sonia Dudley, who's another Diamond Ambassador, who helped me see this. Um, but mindset is so important. You can equip your team with every tool in the toolbox. You can tell them exactly what to say. You can tell them how to say it even. You can give them all the documents and all the resources to be successful. But you know what? If they don't have the right mindset and the confidence, and the self-belief to be successful, even with all of the tools in the toolbox, they won't. So really focus on um, helping your team have a positive mindset, um, pour belief into them. Um, you can tell them over and over and over that you believe in them, right? So that's me pouring belief in them, but that's not all of it. Um, you need to fill their cup of their self-belief. I can tell you all day long that I believe in the, believe in you and that you can do this. But if you don't believe what I'm saying and if you don't think that you can do it too, you won't. So really working on mindset. One of the greatest book studies that I did with my team, I did a six-week coaching class on it, is What to Say When You Talk to Yourself by Shad Helmstetter. Um, it is a great book. It really works on um, that self-thought. It works on that mindset. John Maxwell preaches on this um, daily. Uh, but mindset is key. So important to build their belief in themselves, build their confidence in themselves. The third thing is goal setting. I think goals are so, so important because we can oftentimes um, have dreams, but a dream without a goal is just a wish, right? You've all heard that. Um, here's a little tip that I do, and this is something I kind of learned along the way. I used to give myself a goal, right? That's good. But if I never achieved or got that goal in my timeline or maybe by the end of the month, I oftentimes gave myself maybe too much grace on that. And I was like, mm, okay, well, no big deal. After all, it was just a goal. I really didn't, I, you know, it was just a goal. It wasn't something I had to do. So I changed that and I started implementing this in my team. Every month we have two goals, or at least my level ones that I do coaching with. Um, we have a must-have goal. So what is a must-have goal? A must-have goal is a goal that you're doing no matter what. Um, so maybe it's you want to reach 500 PV and sign two ambassadors. Then that is what is happening. You are not leaving that month without achieving both of those things. You're going to do whatever it takes and focus on that. Your must-have goal in your mind has already happened. So when you think of a must-have goal, you're going, okay, by the end of this month, I want to do X, Y, Z. Then you need to already believe that it's it's happening. It's a done deal. You just have to tie, tie the loose ends up. That's a must-have goal. I have never, ever had a level one give me a must-have goal and they miss it. Never. The second goal that I have or that I encourage people to have is a crazy goal. So you've got your must-have goal, the goal that's already happening. You're not, you're not leaving the month without it, right? Then your second goal is a crazy goal or a BHAG. 
B-H-A-G, big, hairy, audacious goal. If you haven't heard it, it's a fun word. Um, but a BHAG, a crazy goal. So maybe your crazy goal is um, to promote this month. And maybe it might be a longer stretch, but that's your crazy goal. You've got your must-have goal. You're doing it no matter what. And then your crazy goal, why not go for it? Um, oftentimes what I've found with my level ones is more times than not, people achieve their crazy goals. Isn't that interesting? So have two goals and talk about them. Plan them out. Get a game plan in action. Goal setting is so very important. So if you have, um, if you're doing your monthly post on your team page, okay, it's February. What's your new goal? That's wonderful. But really work with people on those. Have that must have goal and have that crazy goal and do whatever you can to get as close to that crazy goal as you can. Those are three tips that I've got for you to help kickstart your team and achieve success. Hope it helps you guys. Bye.